the garden doesn't really ever sleep because even you know they've got the bulbs and the hellebores and things uh, you know they're coming up and the hellebores are almost in flower at the moment and we've got snowdrops that are actually out and it's only 19th of January so yeah there's things things to see I love coming to work you just have to have the right clothes on that's what I'd say about working out here in the winter I'm water peri born and bred so I've known the gardens right since I've been a baby and coming up here from when I'm very young. What I love about this job is no two days are the same. One day we're digging out things, another day we're pruning, we're doing labels, it is so varied and the weather's never the same as well so you can't guarantee that you're going to have lots of sunny days so that's it's all interesting and it's a really nice team of people so you, you like to come to work. In January um, we, we probably do quite a lot of the most hard work that we would do in the gardens throughout the year. We're, we're digging out shrubs, we're pruning, we have um, roses that we um, have to prune out and tie back in. So it's, it's very intricate work but it can be very cold and painful. One of the many extraordinary things about working at Water Perry is the sense of being part of a, a historical um, uh, line that, that goes back not just to um, uh, Beatrix Havergal uh, from 1932 onwards, um, but actually even further, as you know, um, Water Perry is mentioned in the Doomsday Book, uh, and it means uh, basically a, a pear orchard. So it's wonderful to be pruning pears and apples in the winter and thinking that you have been you, you are doing something which has been done at Water Perry for a thousand years. It, it, there's something nice about being out in all weathers. You really see everything. And also the quality of light you get uh, in the times when uh, you might not choose to be outside. You, see, you, you really can savour the, those, those, um, those moments of, of solitude and, and beauty that you find. The only thing that, that really gets to me is cold hands. I, I have very bad circulation in my fingers and um, I have seven pairs of gloves, so I always have a dry pair. At the moment we're uh, planning a brand new border. At the moment it doesn't look like much, it's uh, just grass and bits of string. But the idea is uh, to grow herbaceous plants that don't need staking, that don't need um, any pest control and will suppress weeds. The idea is to try and grow herbaceous in a low maintenance kind of way because we all think about these beautiful cottage perennials needing so much work. It's an idea that's been developed over the last few years in Holland, Germany by people like dear old Peter Udolf and uh, we're trying to do our, our slice of it just to see if we can represent the different maintenance techniques to growing herbaceous. The best thing about Waterbury for me is uh, the environment I live in, and the people I meet, the people that love horticulture, the plants I come across, the variation and range of plants we grow at Waterbury, it's a very soulful but loved thing at the same time. I know it sounds a bit silly for a bloke to say things like that, but I do love the place, I love the plants and I love the people.